Hello and welcome to another episode of our podcast featuring me, Ken. Hi. I'm Jason Jorick, the Jay. friend, I think. And I'm John. And that is John. Jay. Welcome back, Jay. Jay. Hey. hey, guys. How are you? How's, How's it going? going? Not bad. It's been you a guys? long time. <laughs> it has been a while. Yeah. I was uh, a little busy doing some business stuff and yeah. yard work. I'm he's, back. He's yard work? You were doing yard work? Doing yard work. He's done with his softballs. I mean, softball. Yeah. 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 You're done um, handling so. your balls? Mm -hmm. Yes. So uh, that's nice. Yeah. And uh, But then after he finished, John and I started filming more during the week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's like, I'm available on Sundays now. Well... <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, so we, uh, we, we've we kind of been all over the place, uh, the schedules. You would think that around this time it won't be as crazy, but yeah. sometimes it's eh. just life hands you... Life's uh, busy, man. Kids basketball and things hey, like I'm that. I'm busier yeah. now than any... any. Yeah. yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Before so. we start, I want to say congratulations to us on hitting 400 subscribers. I did see Ooh. that, actually. I was going to mention that to you before. Yes. <laughs> I was yep. like, yeah. We hit 400. Moving on up. Moving on up. Are they all robots or... Probably. <laughs> Probably. It's, those, uh, it's us. We have five views and 407 subscribers. It's us. I have, I have uh, 500 YouTube accounts. <laughs> I'm trying yeah. to just yeah. subscribe. Uh, if you're one of those subscribers, uh, thank you very much yeah. for subscribing. Please yeah. share, like, and comment. We need it. Yes. And uh, We appreciate it. Yeah, we appreciate it. It's just, it's just, it's fun for us guys. So yeah, you know, it's like that's the most important thing. Is that we're having fun. That's yeah. what I, that's what you tell the kids, right? Yeah. Until they lose, and you're like, you're horrible. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so what do we have going on here, John? All right. So being that it is Super Bowl Sunday week yes, coming it up, is we have a beer from uh, Philadelphia on the streets, streets of, of Philadelphia. Philadelphia. Yes, we're all gay with AIDS. <laughs> um, this is Yards Brewing, and this is a. Hazy Belgian style IPA, and it is six point six percent. What does that sound like to you when you hear hazy Belgian style? It yeah, sounds it doesn't like they, go together. It's like they couldn't make their mind up. They, yeah. they, they someone screwed up making it, and they said, "Just call it like a hazy Belgian." Yeah, style. let's put a little, a little everything. Yeah, in let's put a little everything in there. We're not sure, guys. The color looks it's a little brown. It doesn't look amber. appealing. It's darker. <clears throat> hmm. Well, let's try it. All right, cheers, yeah. cheers guys. Cheers. Welcome back, Jay. Cheers, guys. Okay. What do you, you, you go first. That's what I call <laughs> a <laughs> sink <laughs> dumper. <laughs> no, really? no, no, no. I can taste the... There is something after taste of <clears throat> me. The aftertaste is horrible. But that's the Belgian man. style. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's you don't sweet. do Belgians that much, Belgian style beers. Right. So you wouldn't know. But I have done some Belgian beers, and yeah. maybe it shouldn't be a hazy Belgian. Maybe it should right. just be one of the other. I think they should have taken hazy out of it, because I'm not getting that no, like, no kind of like that, that haze that you it's don't sweet, usually get from which is. A, like a Belgian I'm, beer. I'm, uh, I'm yes, not, a little sweet. It. It's got some of those hops there. Now, guys, don't listen to the John. The smell is um, awful. He he he's just hates Philly that much. But you know, <laughs> the, the aftertaste is not great. The rest of it is fine. Mm. It has a little lingering. Uh, uh, it's not bad. It's it's the I think it's the Belgian. It tastes stale or something. I don't know. There's I something know. going on that I I can drink one can and I'll be all right. I think a little yeah. mothbally. Mothball. <laughs> is it oniony? Does it have some cabbage in there? <laughs> Broccoli? <laughs> a little propane. <laughs> a little propane. I mean, it tastes like a barbecue grill. Um, I don't it, know. It tastes like, to me, it tastes like if I were to like liquefy my dead grandmother's remains. <laughs> Jesus. And then put it in a glass. I feel like this is what it would taste like. What a horrible thing hmm. to say. That's pretty messed yeah. up. Yeah. So this is well, yours. Can't happen. This is yours. It's not right? like I'm going to go so, do it. So why don't you just say you don't like it? Yeah, I don't. I don't like uh, it. Yeah, why don't you just say that? That works good too. <laughs> this is from yards. Right? I'm trying to be nice. I didn't want to just come out and say it. <laughs> yards, correct? Yes, and yes. I've had yards Have before. You been there? Yes, I've been to yards. Yeah, yeah. Really cool. I've yeah. had wow. yards before, and, and I've liked them. Yeah, yeah they had like um, a food truck outside. Yeah. I'm not going to pretend that I like something that I don't like. But yeah, yeah, that's fine. I've had. Brew. I thought you I've do that beer. though on the show. You just no, you haven't seen like everything. All right. So John's not saying he doesn't like every yards beer. He just doesn't like this one in particular. This one. That's yeah. Like I said, I've had yards yes. beer and I've liked it before. I'm just yeah. not. I'm not fond yeah. of this. Uh, yeah. Maybe they can. Uh, I'm not a fondle of this. They can comment in the. Uh, yeah. Comment and uh, <laughs> Venmo me my money back. You know what would have been a good idea, John? If you did a Philly beer and then <laughs> you brought a Kansas City you're beer, an asshole. You could have done something with this. That would have been cool. Because I drove around to every friggin' liquor store I could find in Northern New Jersey looking for a beer from Kansas City. 
city and they're nowhere to be found. <laughs> I was like, I think Boulevard. I've, I've had Boulevard. it in New Jersey. Oh, yeah. It came out on my untapped. I was looking yeah. at beers and it you said I could find it? find it there. I could find yeah. it there. And I went to these places and they didn't have any. Maybe other people had the same idea. Let's buy a hmm. Kansas City beer. And they just sold out. I don't know. Wait, we have competition? There's other podcasts? And yeah, a lot, a lot more better than ours. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but people will buy them though after for their Super Bowl parties and stuff. Yeah, yeah. So mm. I mean, I guess that's the case. Maybe. I don't yeah, know. yeah. But, so I, I did fail. Uh, he, he only half failed. I half failed. So we, we, we got a New York beer in the mix there, um, I, actually. So I have a San Francisco beer and Ohio beer in the fridge because that was my prediction. <laughs> like, he, he told me before the episode. He goes, "I hope Kansas City doesn't win because I don't know if I can do that with the beers." <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, we'll make it work. We'll make it work. No, I didn't work. Yeah. I did find a Ohio beer and a San Francisco beer. That was going to be my two uh, yeah. picks when we talked about it. You know, yeah. that was my picks. And uh, well, it, You win some, you lose some, you yeah, find them. I'm losing a lot know. lately. Yeah. Maybe the beer sold out because so many people are watching the Pro Bowl today. Yeah, uh, the Pro Bowl. Should we put that on? Mm. What do you guys think of the Pro Bowl <laughs> this year? They're playing dodgeball and flag it, football. Yeah, flag football. Is that what it is? I yeah. think so. Yeah. Why? Because they're too uh, uptight to tackle hurt. each other, I guess. I don't Are know. You serious? Yeah. I mean, is, 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 is Kyrie on the, on the team or what? <laughs> no, he's sitting out this one. <laughs> yeah, he's sitting out this one. <laughs> it's uh, Eli Manning versus Peyton Manning. They're the captains of the teams. Oh, and, God. Uh, yeah. All right. Yeah. That's and ridiculous. you know who uh, I believe, I read this, made the team. I, just got, I, I didn't check to see if it was a, a joke, but I don't think it was. Your, uh, your backup quarterback made the team. My backup, yeah, yeah, with like, Hunt- Huntley. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah I believe yeah. he made the Pro Bowl because nobody else wants to play. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I could see that. Nobody um, wants so to play these games. I actually believed you when you said they were playing like dodgeball and kickball and stuff like that. Dodgeball no, and flag football. I, I think it is flag football. Yeah, is, right. Dodge football. I, I heard dodgeball, flag football, and like just a skills thing. Okay. All right, all right. Yeah, all it's right, true. No, it's right. true. I'll have to check it out it's then. Peyton now. versus it, 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 you know what, John? It's probably, probably it's probably more entertaining than what we would have been watching on a regular Pro Bowl. Yeah, right? yeah, absolutely. <laughs> we're we're, we're watching this podcast. <laughs> yeah, yes, what, exactly. Out of all the sports, what do you guys think the best like all star type of game is? Baseball, hockey, so football, hockey basketball. Was, hockey was just on Friday night, and it was, they tried to be funny, and it that's wasn't what ruins funny. it. Yeah. That, I want to see like a, like a real competitive, yeah. like all out war. See, you that's know. why baseball is good because baseball the game means something. Yeah, you know yeah. the winner gets home field advantage for the Definitely. World Series. Mm-hmm. You know they mm-hmm. mic the players up and they still like have fun with it, but they they take it serious because they want to win. Yeah, that that's good. They give them that incentive. I yeah. guess right. Yeah, you know. Well, so. To the Super Bowl. To right? the Super Bowl. Uh, we got Kansas City versus Philadelphia. Okay. Yeah, who you like? Two hardcore teams. Yeah. Right? Um, I don't like either of them. Yeah, I agree. i rather my Super Bowl boxes win. I could care less who wins the Super Bowl. Which seems to be the case all the time, because yeah. we haven't had a local team no. you know, in there for some time now. So, But I, sometimes there's teams that I'll, I'll, I'll pull for more than the other. Yeah. Uh, so this year I'm probably going to pull for Philly more than Kansas City, because really? I am not a Patrick Mahomes <laughs> fan at all. I yeah, I could see that. Guy. I think he's. I think the uh, league wants him to win too. I think. I he's think the league wants the to be the next Tom Brady, yeah. and they put him on a pedestal. And I, I just don't like him. But he's good. I mean, he's. he's what does he do? He's, no, 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 he's he's been in there. You know. Oh, he's, he's good. Not, don't get me wrong. He's rodeo. good. You know, it's like Steph Curry in basketball. The guy's good. He's likable. Everybody loves him. I can't stand him. Yeah. There's something about him that gets under my skin. Maybe it's my jealousy. They're just too good, and they're always winning. But you're going to so root for a Philadelphia team. You're a Giant fan, correct? I never negative. Oh, Jets. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So I you could care less if Philly's in there. You don't. Oh well, yeah, we're going to win the Super Bowl next year. We're going to get Aaron Rodgers, so mm, we're we're going to yeah. be in the Super Bowl next year. Maybe what maybe Brady will get. No, maybe he'll come no. out of retirement. No, he's who, done who, for the second who, time. Who are you rooting for, Jay? Yeah, who are you rooting for? Giants <sighs> my, fan. My Super Bowl boxes. Yeah. All right, pick a team. Giants fan. I mean, I think the Eagles are going to win. Unfortunately, I don't know why I feel that way. They just look. Really good, even when their quarterback wasn't playing too well last game. I don't know. Well, last game, he, sh- he did pretty. The other guy had a broken, uh, what do you have, collarbone? He th- couldn't throw up more than five feet. Who's that? Uh, who? What? The last game. Oh, Eagles against the San Francisco. Oh, San- oh yeah. Purdy? Oh, Purdy? Purdy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Purdy. Well, Hurts look good, though. Wouldn't you have taken a yeah. chance, though, with the other guy that might be able to throw the ball and get intercepted? Like, was why there they another keep guy? him in? There, there was, was like uh, a, Josh Johnson yeah, or whatever was, his name is. Yeah. I, I think don't know. I was their next backup. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's what's I think crazy. Joe about. Montana was in the parking <laughs> yeah, lot. I think in hockey, there's been stories where <laughs> they would get someone out of the stands or like call somebody up, and you could just sign yeah. a one day contract and goalie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When yeah. a goalie gets hurt, but for them, it was they had no one 
to yeah. play. Yeah. I thought that was a little. I just felt like they threw in the towel and just like, all right, we lost. Yeah. <clears throat> well, I, I don't know. I don't know though. Yeah. Maybe they were. Uh, yeah. I Defense mean, the wins Eagles games knew too, they man. were going to run the ball every De- single time. Defense yeah. wins games too. You know. So yeah, and th- those are. Two good defense. Yeah. 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 So do you, do you have a score prediction, either of you guys? Well, first off, yeah. I am you rooting going for? for Kansas City. I'm rooting for them. And I, how come? I can't stand it, Philly fans. Mm-hmm. Um, just not alone. You know, I just, I, 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 they're just, I don't know. Anyways, I'm rooting for them. I don't mind Mahomes as much as you do. Um, I think he's a good guy. Um, he's back in there. I, I predicted it. I knew, and I think they're going to win. Uh, back to what Jay just said. I'm thinking a 23 KC to a 21. No, no, 20, I mean 24 <laughs> KC to 21 um, uh, Philly. Okay, that's what I'm thinking, Jay. I, I'll do the same score, but flip it. Flip so it. I think the Eagles will win. He thinks the Eagles are going to do 24, 21. 21. I'm going a little higher. I think it's going to be a little bit higher of a game. I I do think it's going to be a, a field goal difference. Yeah. So I am going 37, 34 Philadelphia Eagles. Now, should people be betting on what we say? Definitely don't listen to me. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Well, I'm the only KC guy here, so. You are. So everyone would pick me. See, I'm a, like I'm a Jets fan and a Yankees fan, so Philly yeah. doesn't bother me as much. Like, yeah. I got no beef with them. Yeah. Mm. And Philly's a pretty cool city. It's a shithole. Yeah. But. I mean, a lot, of times, people, good beers. A lot of times people will root <laughs> the team that's not part of their division, you know, to yeah. win. And that's what like I'm saying. That. I, yeah. I have no. But no for, beef with Philly. Like for yeah. me, say they beat the Giants. You're a Giants kick fan. Kick the Giants' ass. So I can't really root for them, right? Or do you want a, the best? You can't. Team to you beat can root Philly. for them if they're playing like Dallas. As a Giants, yeah. you know, fan, you can't root for Philly. Yeah, no, <laughs> at all. <laughs> There's certain situations, not in a yeah. Super Bowl, <laughs> obviously not. But there are certain situations where if, if you need Philly to win, so the Giants get in the playoffs, can, yeah, yeah, so the Giants can get that's in the playoffs, true. something like that. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> that's not really rooting. That's just kind of. It's rooting for your own interest. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Do you yeah. do you guys bet on like the yeah. game or anything? Just, or? just boxes. I don't do yeah. the uh, whole. Uh, <laughs> what? You put on your goggles. <laughs> Whoa! Yeah. Can oh, you my see? Headphones almost flew off my head. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I see London. I see France. <laughs> 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 He sees Patrick Mahomes' underpants. <laughs> wow, Jay. Jeez. Sorry, man. Sorry, Jay. We already did this to you. Yeah. <laughs> what the hell? I don't come on here to get abused. <laughs> they were there. You put the hole in the wood when the they sun were, was coming through the window. <laughs> yeah. Probably would. Yeah. <laughs> he wonders why people are looking at him, going, looking, like fixing their hair. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make me spit my hair out. As delicious as it is. When those things came off, his eyes crossed, and I was like, what the hell? Put him back on. It was like the Jerry Mr. Seinfeld. Mr. Though. Magoo over in the episode. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. I really need them to see. Anyway. I'm trying not to wear them. So, all right. We got our predictions in. We got our predictions. We're all doing Super Bowl boxes, right? That's the really our... Uh, our yeah, limit on I gambling. Think, you, yeah. you got a couple extra bets in. Yeah, like those Gatorade, silly bets. Yeah, silly yeah. prop yeah. bets. Yeah. And uh, but uh, let's go to food. Jay, we we are sorry. We, we, you know, we were picking on you. No, and no. Jay's so nice, and he actually <laughs> he actually brought us this. Today. Yeah. So speaking of uh, Super Bowl food, uh, wings and pizza, I think are a huge Super yeah. Bowl food. Wings is probably number one. I'm going to yep. think pizza is probably close to number two. Oh yeah. Yep. Uh, and Jay brought us something. Finger foods, hot dog, cool like little. Them. One of those uh, corn dogs and stuff like that. And corn dog? No, what's the, the, the little dogs and the, with the pigs in a oh, blanket? Yeah. Pigs in a blanket. That's pigs in a blanket. Pigs in a blanket. Spinach dip, buffalo chicken and dip, sushi on a hooker. You know, all sushi that stuff <laughs> is good football fun yes. food. Yes. Quick, quick little backstory regarding this pizza. John, I don't know where I was. Probably at a brewery somewhere doing whatever. And John goes, "I'm in your town, and uh, I just ordered this pizza. It's delicious. You have you ever tried it? I'm like, what is it? And he's like, I'm at the pizza terminal, and there's a mustard pie. And I'm like, a mustard pie? I do like mustard. And he's like, you got to try it. You got to yeah, try good. it. And yes. We've all had it before, and we're all huge fans of it. And and everybody, when I talk about it with anybody else, they're like, oh. oh you either love it or hate it, though. But, but you got to try it. But yeah. here's the thing. It's like there's tomato on it. Just remember, there's so, like there's like the sauce, but there's also mustard on it as well. Well, the sauce isn't the base. I think the mustard is the base, and yeah. they drizzle they drizzle they the, the sauce. Yeah, they put the mustard yeah. first, a light layer, not yeah. a lot, and so it's, it's yellow mustard, and it's yeah. a nice it's chunky, not chunky. What is it like, San Marzano? Yeah. Or yeah. yeah, yeah. You know, tomatoes on it. So it and they they got they're flavorful. They burst yeah. in your mouth. That mustard, you get that nice. That nice, like, because uh, it is like a margarita, tang, like, yeah, yeah, tang. Yeah. yeah, that might be it. 
And, and the kicker to me is that everything bagel seasoning yeah. on the crust. Everything bagel seasoning. That is you said you, you normally don't eat crust, right? I Not don't, pizza? but I'll eat it here. That's the only you don't I'm, eat crust on your pizza? Not usually, unless I'm really, really hungry. That's what bad you, pizza, uh, man. <laughs> This eighteen-year-old girl trying to watch her figure for the summer. What do you? When mean? I get a Sicilian slice, I always say, "Give me the middle." I'm like, really? I oh, I'm an end guy. Oh my crust. god! I don't want crust. The, the middle's the one that goes in the garbage. No, yeah. that, that's why I'm good for you guys because I'm eating the stuff that you don't want, and I just I don't know. That's what I think. Mm. So, uh, Jay, tell us a little bit more about Pizza Terminal, man. Um, it, it's in Verona. Um, that's where Jay Scott at. started uh, the place. Uh, the guy used to work at actually Bruno's, and we're from uh, two towns that are right next to each other. And uh, so we know everyone Mr. Bruno's. Knows Bruno. yeah, yeah, Mr. Bruno's in Lenners. They make yeah. like a square pie, we called it, and, and it has uh, just a lot of sauce on top, yeah. but it's delicious. And Mr. Bruno, yeah, Bruno fe- himself, he, he's all over the he place. He just got inducted into the New Jersey Pizza Hall of Fame. And he's been working uh, last at night, like, wow. I believe. Every time I walk into a pizza place, I see him. I'm like, oh, you work <laughs> here now? <laughs> they, uh, it was at Reds, it's right? like they bring him in. Yeah, it was at Reds. Reds. Ken Rosado from Channel Whatever was there. Yes, yes. Um, yeah, that's pretty cool. Go take a should bite. Try it? Yeah, let's let's dive in. Someone should talk though, so uh, I'll right, pretend talk. to talk. All right, John is uh, taking the slice with his left left hand. <laughs> He's doing a little fold. What is that little uh, extra white? Uh, <laughs> oh, don't worry about there. that. Oh. I mean, I see the cheese, and then there's a little extra. <laughs> Actually, I think it's mozzarella. Extra fresh mozzarella. White. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> so. <laughs> so back to uh, what Jay had mentioned about the Sicilian there. I, they, in some places, they will call it an upside down pie. Oh, really? Because it has the cheese kind of on the bottom, marinara or the sauce or whatever you want to call it on top. Um, and that's, I, I mean, as far as Sicilian pies go, how's, that's the way to do it. Man. How's the flop? It's cold. Good. It's cold well, now. It's frozen. It's so. cold now because it's been sitting on the bar. I thought you bought a pizza bag. What happened? <laughs> Yeah, that's when John, John was late today. Yeah, but it's such a fantastic. I mean, I'm taking a. Bite. It is a little, little cold. I have Still a comment good. though. I have a comment. Mm-hmm. You gonna talk about my glasses again? <laughs> Maybe you should use glasses to heat them up. <laughs> 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 I'm missing the mustard a little bit. I yeah. think it's not as much mustard as when I had it the first time. Really? Yeah. Maybe it's the tip. Maybe you didn't put you know it in the what? middle. You know what? The tip of the pizza had a lot of sauce on it, mm-hmm. so I think it overpowered the mustard. Do you, you taste the mustard hardcore? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Uh, I'm yeah, not there yet. You should eat it backwards. Yeah, I'm going to go to the crust. I'm going to do a portnoy and go to the crust. Well, But what other, um, like like wings, do you like flats or drums? Do you prefer mm, one? Or? I think you talked about this like a while ago. Yeah, but I'm a flats guy. I, I like the the uh, drumsticks, but then do you do you like a mixture of like a teriyaki and a hot sauce or like like for Super Bowl? I'm I'm like, what's your go to? Like I always like the buffalo dip, having that. I'm just trying to talk while you guys. Eat. I like uh, <laughs> chocolate syrup on my wings. Now. <laughs> That's oh yeah, what I, prefer. <laughs> I heard about <laughs> I like that chocolate one. Syrup on it was <laughs> powdered sugar too. Yeah, this is good. I mean, <clears throat> you need wings though. Yeah, but so. I like a good honey barbecue. Or uh, no, you always a buffalo. You have to have a buffalo. Got to have a buffalo. Spi- spicy, hot. I like hot. Yeah. If I have nothing to do the next day, then hotter is fine. <laughs> yeah. I can do spicier. Yeah. If I have nothing to do the next day, as hot as possible. Yeah. Um, last night I went out with the family and I had a uh, honey chipotle, which was pretty good, and I had a hot buffalo that was mixed with ranch. Interesting. Mm. And that was pretty good. Was it good? And I'm a blue cheese guy. I'm not a ranch guy. I'm but, not a I agree. Guy. But yeah. the the buffalo was mixed with the ranch. Sometimes it, 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 I don't know if it's blue cheese or ranch, but then you know. I'm a ra- I'm a blue cheese guy. Yeah, I yeah. need those chunks. I need, yeah, yeah, you got to get like you. <clears throat> it's like when you're sharing that bowl, uh, the thing, and you you see someone dipping into the blue cheese, and you eye that one chunk. And yeah, you're like, you better not take that chunk. That chunk's gonna <laughs> be chunk, mine man. right there, man. That is my chunk. Um, I dip everything in blue cheese. My new thing now is mozzarella sticks in blue cheese. Really? Yeah. I did. I used to do mozzarella sticks and honey mustard. Well, uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I like breaded mushrooms and honey mustard. Yeah, but mozzarella sticks and blue cheese, Ooh, yeah. so good. This everything bagel though, uh, or whatever, every crust is uh, making me a little thirsty though. Um, uh, yes, I agree, Jason. Really? A little bit. These pretzels Already? are making me thirsty. So I you th- want to go into the next beer? Yeah, let's do it. I was hinting at that. Yeah, we are empty here. That's the problem. <laughs> having th- that's the only problem. Having three people go through our beers because we only pour ourselves this much. Um, so but, now we're going through things faster, which is good. Right, but John we're trying to cut down our time. He, f- he finished his beer. So I'll give him, yeah. Ooh, I got a give huge, him credit for that. I got a huge mustard taste there. That's good. Oh, nice. Why I'm pouring this, how about um, Super Bowl commercials? What are your favorite commercials? 
Go ahead. You go first. I liked when Go oh. Daddy came into the picture. <laughs> the... Go Daddy. Yeah, they always had her. Yeah. Looking... That was good. Didn't they have Danica Patrick too? Yeah, right? then she came yeah. into it. Um, I'm, but I'm. I mean, honestly, I like some of the like the the, the ones like remember the one with Betty White when she got like tackled. Is that Snickers. Snickers. Yeah, you, you feed the hunger or whatever it is or. So here, here's my take on it. What's your take? Everybody's so scared to offend somebody or something well, that now. the commercials are terrible now. now so I, yeah. They're like they're almost unwatchable that I can't even. I think they're terrible. But I mean, the Super Bowl commercials back in the day, I mean, that's where uh, like. Great. Budweiser. Budweiser. Right? They're having a Bud Bowl. That was good. Puppy, P- puppy Bowl. <laughs> There's too many alcoholics out there. It mm-hmm. offends them. Mm-hmm. So, John, what is this? But yeah, the, the Budweiser was the frogs. Bud. Yeah. Budweiser. Yes, you know? I remember that. And the uh, the two guys. What? Yeah. But real quick, just not to change the topic on this, but yet the other day, yesterday, SNL was on. They were doing a rerun episode from back in like the mid '90s and everything. Mm. And um, my wife had said she's like. You, they'll, they'll never get away with this stuff now, you know, oh, it's just yeah. crazy. And now you talk about these commercials and you say, you know, how censored things are nowadays. And it's just, everyone's like, got to take the stick out their yeah. ass. And Remember Janet know. Jackson? Was yeah. Was the nipple, you need nipple a nipple gate? once in a while. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, a nipple on channel two. I mean, well, Rihanna, you never know what happened with her. I must have watched that like 95,000 times. Backwards, pause. I missed backwards, it. Backwards, pause. <laughs> backwards, pause. Backwards, pause. Backwards, pause. Um, and what you... <laughs> Wait, did you really take a sip before we? <laughs> you did couldn't you, wait. Did you forget? I did. I forgot. You couldn't wait. <laughs> so, John, what are we drinking here? Uh, there goes my point. I guess forget it. What are we not drinking here? <laughs> All right, my bad. Uh, uh, Ken was recently up by his uh, house doing some work in uh, upstate New York. Yeah, and he went to Catskill Brewery and brought this one back for us. Yes, and we did Catskill Brewery a couple years ago. That was, was a good band. time out there. The a band was playing. My band, that was yeah. fun. Yeah, we're interacting with them. I had to take pictures for <laughs> the, the guy, band. The, guy, yeah. the lead singer in the band goes to Jay. Do you mind taking some photos? Yeah, of us? yeah. Wow, that was awesome. I took good photos. Um, that cool, place was cool. Cool spot. Um, it's uh, at a, uh, Livingston Manor up there in the Catskills. Um, this is like a, is it like a session or? No, it just says IPA. Uh, well, you tell us. Was it good? Well, he's got the can, but yeah. <laughs> Grass Wagon, this yeah. is called. This and is it my is... favorite from them, actually, though. So Coming yeah. in at 4.9%, so it is low. Yeah, it's a low. It doesn't say session on there, but it, nah, uh, it's just it's definitely. Uh, that's weird now. How like I always thought, I know you guys talked about this, at a certain percentage, they would classify it as a session or a pale ale. Or a, you know, yeah, like we were but they don't like... They don't follow it. I asked one of the brewers, yeah. and they were like, not necessarily. Well, we made a, a session that was over five. I always thought it was under five. Well, where I work, uh, you know, my second job at Jim Danny's, we got a beer hall in, and one of the beers was triple dry hopped. Yeah. But I'm thinking triple dry hopped, it's going to be high. It was only like 8%. It well, no, that's just the amount of hops. That's not the am- how I long guess, it's, but it's, I guess I, I saw triple the, dry, and I was like, oh, fermenter. it's got to be high. we yeah. got to make beer together one one time. Yeah. yeah. And we you learn a lot, though. Do what yeah, it only Can takes set four hours. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right, let's drink this one. Yeah, cheers, guys. Thanks cheers, for going man. and bringing it back. Let's drink it first, and then... Uh, yeah. yeah, well... Well, John, he already had it, so... Mm-hmm. It, was, it wasn't enough. Oh, it's really good. It is. It's yeah, such a really crushable good. beer, man. Like, really piney, good. like a little piney, right? Like, yeah. I like a little piney. Yeah, a little yeah. Yeah. hoppy. It's good. It's nice. Um, I Sprucy. actually, when I was there, um, I actually did a clip, um, of, a quick quick of the uh, the brewery there and everything. And um, you can always tune out to this clip because um, it's probably boring. Hit I'm fast talking. forward. Yeah, fast forward this part right here. <laughs> but here it is, guys. Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Ken from Speakeasy. I'm at the Catskill Brewery. Um, having the Aquadato Italian Pilsner. Um, pretty damn good, actually. Uh, this is a spot I've been going to every time I come up to the Catskills. Uh, I've been uh, coming here for quite a few years now. They have an awesome uh, can selection here. And a uh, quick view of the brewery right here. Awesome spot. Um, I'm bringing home a grass wagon uh, for me and John to try out on the podcast. Um, cheers, guys. Delicious. Yeah, man. We had good times there in the past. That was a good video. Yeah. <laughs> I like that place. I would yeah. like to go back there. If we do, uh, you know, Ken's, you know, a guy's weekend again up there, 
I would like to stop back. Yeah, there. I would go back there. There's some new spots over there. There's some new. There's a new brewery right around the corner from the house now. Did you ever go there? Or? The one, uh, the one that just opened. Yes, I, I, I yes, I've I've been to everything there now around the area. So. Um, Sweet. Let's yeah. let's plan that. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Thanks for going. Thanks for filming. Yeah, and man. thanks for bringing yeah. us back something. It was nothing. It's always weird when we're filming, right? Because yeah. like you're trying to make sure everyone's like occupied with what they're doing and not staring at you, and you're talking into a phone. I, I just pretend I'm on the phone. Yeah, I always, yeah. I yeah. always do wonder that. Like, are you guys like embarrassed? I don't care anymore. Yeah. No. Now I stopped caring. Um, and then because I'm so nervous, I always hold the phone the wrong way. You're supposed to hold it. The way you know, like a TV screen would yeah, be. Yeah, 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 yeah. So the, this, I think this one and the last one I had done, they're all like that way, and I'm like, ah, oh, forget you think, it. You would think the you, phone would be able to fix that, no, like you, automatically. Yeah. You need to start with like, hey, honey, I'm at the brewery, like you're FaceTiming, yeah. and then just go into it. I'm drinking a 5.9 percent IPA. Yeah. Take a look at this. <laughs> it's pretty cool. <laughs> pretending you're talking. <laughs> yeah, pretend you're FaceTiming. Yeah, you got it. I don't know. I feel like yeah. I don't pretend know. you're like calling me. So our next topic is a pretty uh, uh, crazy one. And before we get into that, I was making my point before Ken pre-drank his beer, <laughs> and it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna roll into the uh, the same category. All right. We started the um, podcast. You were singing "Moving On Up," moving yeah. on, right? The Jeffersons. Yes. The Jeffersons. They they couldn't be on TV today. Like you were saying, what your wife yes. said about SNL. Yes. They couldn't be on TV today. Like uh, Archie Bunker. Archie Bunker. Yes. Which is they couldn't be on. They TV make them look silly, which I think right? is a good thing. Everybody gets offended about everything. Yeah. So with this new stuff in the news, <clears throat> with this Chinese balloon, <laughs> oh, the Chinese balloon. Here we go. <laughs> it's like we want to make fun of it, but you're afraid to. It's not say funny. something. Yeah. you yeah. know what I mean. You're afraid to. You like know, I showed you the picture of my meme before. Yeah. So there's you know? a ton of memes, but it actually to me is is not funny. But are they happened. offensive or are they not offensive? Wow. You know, I didn't put it on Facebook because I'm like scared. Am I going to get backlash? But my my balloon says. <laughs> you don't have to say it. No? <laughs> it's it up says, to weather baroon, totally <laughs> not for spy. <laughs> and I thought that was hysterical. But yeah, it's like, is that crossing don't. the line? You might lose a follower now. Uh, I might go down to 406. Well, it's just the way, that's it's an accent. You can People do accents all the time. Sure. Right? Yeah. Totary. <laughs> <laughs> but what's up with this Chinese balloon, man? Um, what is up with it? Uh, the I'll give you my take when you, uh, go, you go ahead. You guys well, go first. Well, I was just going to say, first and foremost... Right when we, they first hit the news, I was like, how do they know it's Chinese? Oh, that's <laughs> you know? a point. I'm like, how do they know? It wasn't round. It was slanted. Well, apparently, though, they had. it was known that China does these things. They build these balloons. It's a thing of theirs. Um, so, like, they actually showed, like, a picture of them building one and stuff. Because they're, like, the size of, what they say, like, three school buses it's or something? huge, yeah. Yeah, they're, they're really big. It looks like the Death Star. So, but I guess it kind of answered my question, because it was something that they kind of had knowledge on in the past, uh, from that they do it. Um, doesn't mean other countries don't have the technology, you know, or can't replicate it and make it look like it's China. I don't know, but they, how I do think they think they they're going to get away with that? Like nobody's going to look at that big circle in the sky and be like, "Oh, hey, whoa, whoa!" You, you want the moon's ch- hanging real they low. They should have shaped it like a cloud. You want my, you want my true feelings? <laughs> yes, absolutely. I think it's a friggin' joke. We're like yeah. the laughing stock right now. They knew about it by the twenty eighth, which was like last Saturday. So it's like been like a week before they shot the thing down. It went across the whole country. At first, I was like, all right, maybe dude, there's crazy people. I'm on um, Twitter, and I'm reading everything. There was like, oh, what if it was like an EMP or something? So like, at first, I was like, well, maybe they don't want to shoot it down. Maybe they want to capture it and then find out what information's on there or yeah. steal it from them, like you know, copy and replicate and learn from it. But I'm like, why would they wait? I mean, so, what they said was they didn't want to shoot it down over a populated place. They didn't know really Montana, how much stuff was in Montana, were they going to hit there. a moose? <laughs> Uh, my thing is, how they how did they not figure it out until Montana? Is that a caribou or a moose? That's <laughs> <laughs> a, a moose. But it was no, they knew about it before it was because it Montana. went over Alaska, Canada. You know, I want I want to know where they launched it from. But my biggest problem is one of the generals, probably China, like all the way from there, and it China. I mean, it's not yeah. that far. So here's yeah. the real question, though: If this didn't hit the media, and the news, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, would they have shot it down? Well, do you think they would just no, let wait, it slide? In the beginning, the one general they said, "Doesn't the general public need to know what's going on?" And you know what the general said? "Look up in the sky, and you'll you'll be able to tell." So that's what he said to the general public. Like, like they're like, "Is it dangerous? What what's on yeah, there?" Yeah, I don't, I don't. Which is ridiculous. Well, that and that's the whole thing. Yeah, like I think they because it hit the media, they were forced to take action, right? And they may not have taken action, but then. Biden was trying to take credit, like, yeah, that's right. I, I told, told them, them Wednesday. Biden decides to, to shoot it down. 
Give me a break. He probably doesn't even know about what it. What a joke. He's probably like, oh. Speaking of uh, Meanwhile, Chuck they e. recorded Cheese. everything. S- speaking of... Uh, <laughs> it's my favorite person. We, uh, yeah. I'm uh, offended by that. Yes. <laughs> That's what I'm aiming for. <laughs> Jay, Jay likes to, uh, you know, make, tr- make, tr- make things uncomfortable once in a while. I try to, uh, you know, be impartial, try to be uh, independent. It's very difficult. When I see my 401k... Going to the yeah, shit. I know. That'll do it. It's starting to come back a little bit, yeah. A little bit. Yeah. yeah. My Dogecoin's starting to go back up. Oh, yeah? Um, Let's talk about something else. <laughs> yeah. But back... But they... <laughs> all right. So they waited f- They waited for it to go over the ocean, yeah. shot it down with a missile. That's what they yeah. supposedly say. I thought it was going to be like Tom Cruise in like an F-16 with like a dart. Like, boom. <laughs> like, w- you shot a missile at a balloon. Get, like, yeah. Get a nine millimeter or or, or a, a fifty caliber or something like that, you know. A fucking pin. Boop. Like, come on. Like, <laughs> what was that movie? This thing went across the whole country. <laughs> what was that kids' movie? But it may, may have been way over too far away by that point. By the time the air got out, that's why a missile just kind of. No, I, I get it, but I thought it was. I was worried. Like it's, it was one degree out, and I'm like, wait, on the coldest day of the year, if something like happened to screw with something, I'm like, that would suck. But you know what's gonna happen? Gets tangled in a power line. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. They picked it up out of the ocean, right? They're going to go through it and see what's in there and what they got. And it's really going to be like a weather balloon or something stupid. But we're never going to know because the no, I think they government's going to make it, was, it. Like cameras and spying. Of course they did because yeah. that's what the government's going to do. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Maybe there's aliens on it. I think Chinese people are aliens. <laughs> God. They, they write up and down. They don't write side to side. <laughs> what, <Well>, jeez. <laughs> I thought his shirt was bad. Yeah. Yeah. Comments are worse. I think, um, I think I riled him up. But yes, but I love Chinese food. So but I'm here's the open. problem. But here's the thing, though, and and I, I had mentioned this to my wife earlier. You see things like this, and John, you're guilty for this. You see things like this, yet more than fifty percent, whatever of Americans use TikTok. You know? Yeah. And I love TikTok. And it's it's a, and it comes from the Chinese. It's Chinese. We don't know what's going on behind the scenes with that. We don't know. I refuse to download. I don't want nothing to do with it. You know, but you don't want to subscribe to the Pub Suds and Grubs Speakeasy no, TikTok. Not, I won't go on it. Check it out, <laughs> John. He's in charge of that. If you read the privacy, um, which I did not do, but it basically says they have access to your phone, your computer, like any devices connected to it. So if they want, they can, I can spy on anything. Okay. Spy? Do you think it's spy on me? Well, change, change your medication, kill you. Would you see that now? <laughs> Go- government workers aren't allowed to have it. Really? Um, well, you, you can't have it now. Well, I mean, you're finding classified documents in presidents' garages. So, yeah, I could think that maybe they shouldn't have social. <laughs> That's why they sent the balloon over. They're like, oh, he's uh, got the classified I, documents. I, 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 <laughs> yeah. I, I, Biden's I, having a birthday party. He'll never <laughs> notice extra balloon. <laughs> I saw the best meme. It was the groundhog came up, and he's like, there was classified documents down here. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't look up to the sky. Look at that balloon. Isn't that something, huh? Now, Walks back in the house. What's for dinner? What was that movie? Up? Can we? Yeah, up. <laughs> can, can we... Maybe a little conspiracy. Take the classified documents out of the president's houses, out of the news, and put in a, a Chinese balloon. You never know. Can we make more of it than it anything. should be, just to take away from that? It's always yeah. funny how when one thing happens, something else totally. Oh, comes the same around. thing that we yeah. mentioned the other day with Epstein. Same thing. He was on. He was. He was the flavor of the week, and that was it. You know. And no one's been arrested. That was at the island. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Well, anyway, every time something happens. Conspiracy wise, there's always something a little bit bigger right yeah, behind they, it. Yeah, I think Jesse Ventura used to have that show yeah. with conspiracies, yeah. and he used yep. to say it's a false flag. Always have a distraction. Even that Nashville, remember that bombing? How weird was that when that thing blew up the um, RV or whatever? And then there was like gunfire before, it, and then who knows? You don't know what to believe anymore. No. It's hard to no. tell what's what's the truth, what's not. Yes. You can't know. handle the truth. I don't even know if John ate that whole slice or not, or if, if that even happened right now. It could be like some type of uh, artificial it intelligence. Could be, it could be on the floor. Yes, it could be. <laughs> this is true. Mm-hmm. On his lap. In his pants. Can I get some? Yeah. Um, but so ba- I don't know. I mean, <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know. I don't crazy know. crazy stuff. I mean, yeah. Isn't that like kind of like a like a war type of thing? Like a, An award? Like, no, a war. Like a, what do you oh, call that? Start like a war? Like a, yeah, well, there's a term for that. Well, I mean, I think th- I think something's going to happen. I mean, we were supposed to go, our, our what, Secretary of State was supposed to go over there, we should, and he canceled. We should put him on a balloon. <laughs> yeah. Send him over. Now, keep in mind, 
communist China, Russia, you know, they were meeting Putin and, you know, whatever. They're all meeting and everything and doing things. Who knows? I mean, South Korea and Taiwan says that uh, that's, they that's see the balloons that, all the time. But that's the thing that's scary, I think. Like, maybe they're preparing if they invade Taiwan. And then they kind of want to know how we're going to react. Don't to they things. already own Taiwan or, or think they own Taiwan? Like yeah, they think they, that's theirs, right? Yes. So, so there's it's the same thing about there, the Russia Ukraine thing. Yeah. That's almost the same thing. Yeah. China and Taiwan, yeah. they think it's theirs and they want and it. And then back. you got the nut in North Korea. So, I mean, that whole area over there is just, it's scary. The world's a scary place. Yeah. Well, no, who it's not. It'll be scary over for, for us soon. We're old, so I'm sure yeah. we'll see more in the news in the next week. I, I, I don't know. Or maybe it'll disappear, like you guys mentioned. Who knows? Well, yeah, something else will happen and this will go away. It, it's 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 a circle, man. It's yeah, a circle. We'll, we'll see. It's a circle of making the uh, citizens of this country look like fools. Yeah. Well, anyway, I want to talk briefly on Tom Brady, I think, and what his deal is, and then we're going to... Back to Super Thomas. Bowl winners? Um, we had recently found out that he retired... And, oh. and he is HIV negative. <laughs> and he is HIV. He's Charlie Shirt and Sheen negative. So, um, you know, what do you guys think? He's gonna? Is he definitely done or what? Yes. Do you think he's... Yeah. He's got that new new smoking hot girlfriend that he's going to spend he's time with. $400 million worth of a contract coming up to uh, commentate. Yeah, that's right. Do you think he'll be yeah. a good commentator? Do you think he'll be annoying like no. Tony Romo? <laughs> I like Tony Romo. Oh, dude. come on. Tony Romo gets into it and knows what he's talking about. Every time he says something, it happens. Do you I like, like Tony Rod's commentary? Or? A-Rod's a little stiff. Yeah. See, Tony Romo's just into it. I feel like Brady's going to be stiff. And he's going to try to make funny jokes, but he's not funny. He's kind of mm. too geeky for that to me. He's not, he's not funny. No, no. We'll see. But he's, he's like, the, what? The biggest eligible, uh, eligible bachelor now is LGBT. Well, I guess LGBT. not anymore. He's got a hot girl. So. Yeah. Oh, what do you think? Did he do an upgrade? I I didn't find her that. Well, he went definitely younger. Yeah. I don't get it. They went fast, man. They were so distraught over this and fast. She's got a boyfriend. About it. She had a boyfriend quick. They probably yeah. didn't. She got a boyfriend before him. For, for you know, if they were on the rocks for some time. You're not having. But you know, what's <laughs> her? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Can you know. explain? So he's all. Can you so, tell us what her is? <laughs> So, <laughs> so he saw this. You know, he's like, I, I, I got, I gotta unleash. I, I need to clean these. I'm sure you know. he was unleashing for yeah since day one. Yeah, you know, Tom, I'm it's moving suppo- out of the house. Supposedly, the please don't go. Yeah, but <laughs> yeah. supposedly the new girl was reportedly married, also, or maybe even still married, and basically with him. But whatever, I don't Listen, know. This is TMZ stuff. I don't really. Tom get Brady can have who he wants to have when he wants to have them at any. Time has he reached place. out to you? We won't talk about that here, <laughs> but he really can, you know. Mm. Wow, so you would if Tom Brady came out and said, I'm bisexual, here's a million dollars, I want to have a night with you. You would do you it, tell me where to show up, and I'm there tax free, or you do it if no, it's got cash. It's got to be cash. <laughs> <laughs> what was that movie uh, with uh, the teddy bear? Oh, Ted? Ted. Ted. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then they break into Tom Brady's house or something like that. <laughs> New movie coming out, Brady. 80, 80 for Brady? Brady? Yeah. That looks awful. Yeah, I, w- <laughs> I would not go see that. But no. uh, if it comes out, you know, when it comes out on some streaming platform, I might, I don't know. You know, you'd be surprised sometimes, you know? You I think like Lily Tomlin like and, you know, it yeah. might not be too bad. Those old ladies. Yeah. It's an old, old-fashioned old cast. They're all still pretty hot. Yeah. <laughs> really? So what else? You think he's done? I think he is. I think he's. I'm gonna. I. I. I a part of me says no, but I, I think ultimately I think he is. But the only reason I'm thinking I'm thinking like these QBs now. I mean, we saw it with Brett Favre, and you know where they say they retired, come back, retire, come back, retire, cry, come back. Um, <laughs> they look like fools when they do. Well, that. Yes, and that's the thing. He did I think, it once already, so I think he's. Done. Wait till the last minute. If if you're have any doubt, wait. Yeah. You know. You know the Raiders were coming at you with a big ass contract. Wait, why do it now? Well, I think the thing was to is that he has this job set up for um, you know TV, the TV and everything. So he's kind of like, what, what, what? Am I, should I risk at this point his age getting injured? Something that could be, you know, when, when's it going to happen that he's going to get that concussion that he's not going to, you know, he's going to have long term effects or, yeah. or things. I, I heard rumors that he might actually come and do your podcast. Is this true? You're hired. Well, <laughs> we didn't want to say anything, but Stay do, tuned. You, do you do you see 
somebody went to the spot where he announced it on Instagram and put the sand in a bottle and they're selling it for like seventy five thousand dollars. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Oh so God! Stupid. I saw that about the ride in uh, like Disney or something like Splashdown. They were selling the water online <laughs> because it was oh, the last Splashdown. Time. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody uh, selling Kobe Bryant's jersey. It was from a big game. I think he wore it in twenty five games. Uh. It was a, from a big game, and I don't remember what game it was. But can you guess how much in auction it's going for, and what how much it? the certain the the what what it's at right now auction wise? But what was it? A headband or no? A jersey. A jersey. Oh, jersey. A jersey. Twenty five games he wore. It. Five point five thousand. Five point five million. Yeah. And what'd you say? Uh, I'll go with one million. Mm-hmm. It, it's close to six million dollars. Yeah. Wow! Wow! Look at the <laughs> and I didn't even know this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, you got you know. No, I'm just that's something you would buy. I, I, I no, I would. I, I, if what I, are you if I doing? Was a billionaire yeah. buying yeah, something like that. someone that's a billionaire, dude. You just don't give a shit. Yeah. Well, who would? I'd buy, rather buy another house. Who would what are you buy, do with a jersey? Buy some of these bourbons for fifty thousand dollars. Yeah. Or whatever. Wow. People with a lot of money. It, that's 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 insane. You know, we can't really. It's it, but it's it, for some people. It's just it's like that cool factor. Oh yeah, that's Co- yeah. that's Kobe. He bore it in that game. Or you know, if he was still alive, it'd be obviously not nearly as valuable. Yeah. But you know, but that's how long you think Tom Brady and Giselle were having issues for? Because he, if you look at it, he destroyed his marriage and his family for once losing season and decided to call it quits. You think it was already like kind of done? I think it was done prior to that. Yeah, it had to be. You know, I think it was yes. I think maybe that's the reason why he came out of retirement the first time because he's like, I can't be home. I can't deal with like this. Your wife said, Listen, stop this podcast or I'm I'm moving out. I'm leaving. I'm done. <laughs> well that's the, the problem is though, no, no. there's a difference because we started this podcast after I got married. So in their case, Tom she Brady, married into yes, it. Right. she married into it. So I think it's it's a little different, you know. I think it's uh, it's almost like the Meghan Markle. But thing. you didn't answer the question. I would have. I would. Know, to, I, would I would have to divorce my wife for, for the podcast. I feel the same. Yeah, Thank you. yeah. because Thank of you. the amount of followers. Yes. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> would you bet on it? I wouldn't. <laughs> but I do love to gamble, and I do love craps. Craps. And what does craps use? Dice? Dice. Oh. Andrew Dice? Clay? Oh, oh I see where you're going with this. All right. How'd you see that? I saw a couple dice yes. on the back of the label there. What you got there? This is Deadwood Presents Tumbling Dice. Uh, straight bourbon whiskey, heavy rye mash bill, single barrel, barrel proof, coming in at 114.64 per, uh, proof, 57.832% alcohol. Uh, and this was a store pick by Central Jersey Bourbon Society. Cheers, guys, from Central Bourbon, uh, so- Central Jersey Bourbon Society. I actually am part of that group. Um, you pay membership dues? Nope. Excellent. I was just cool enough he to pays get it in. Differently. Yes. <laughs> Can um, I get in? I picked this up from yeah, uh, Roselle Park uh, Wine and Liquors. Wine and Liquors. Uh, Brian Jackson over there. Awesome dude. Good picks. Yeah, awesome picks. Um, and you know he does a lot with these now, guys. Can so. John get in on that club Son because of Jackson? Because he, <laughs> he's you know you've come a long what? way. You're. I don't want to be part of no. Group. You're skilled now. I we. Don't, uh, I don't know what you guys do in that group. Yes. Silence, radio silence. Thank you, sir. It's so awkward with everything, all these things hanging here and stuff. And uh, <laughs> hey, so, so, this looks like the beer we just oh, Thank had. you. Welcome. How's that, how's that smell, John? Man, what's the, how's the nose? It smells. smells um, how's the nose? The burn rate smells high on this one. It smells it's sweet. High with this one. There we go. A little bit. It smells hot. Let me try to guess the proof. I don't. I know you said it, but I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> let, me, let me guess. The there were like six <laughs> numbers. Yeah. Did you, do you know what it is? I really don't know. Four point three eight two five six. I really wasn't listening. <laughs> I was setting off the glasses. Is it like one eighteen? Um, I think it was close to that. It was one fourteen point six four. About one fifteen. Yeah, so it's a little up there. Um, yeah. Oh, cheers, cheers, fellas. Happy Jay, Super Bowl. thanks for making it back here. That's got burned. But good. Good flavors. It, it yeah. tails off. In the beginning, it hits you like, but remember, that's our first sip also. 
it hits your tongue a little bit, but it doesn't hit the throat. Like it goes away no. before it goes down. The aftertaste yeah. is amazing on that. Yeah, it's good. I like this. Yeah, I like, I like this very much. Let's try the second sip and see, and then um, Ken can say his. Uh, you want to pour it in your farewells? <laughs> yeah. I left my water. I wish I had my water. In oh shoot! That's it, right? I got a mega bottle. No big deal. Now, see, the second one's different. Less of that uh, initial uh, burn. I'm getting maple on it. It's nice. It's good. I feel all warm. I feel warm inside. Yeah, toasty. You don't like it? No, I do. Yeah. Solid pit, guys. Really good. Thank you, Roselle Brothers. Roselle Brothers. So shout out to Roselle Wine and Liquors. Mm-hmm. Miss Hopefully Jackson. that's their name. Miss Jackson. Is this is this one that you would get, you think? Yeah, I like it. It wasn't super expensive when I got it. I should have traded you. Yeah. Yeah. This one was uh I think it was like forty or something, maybe. So we made a trade before you were here. Yes. Yes. I uh I, I traded um for one of his uh four roses barrel strengths. I, I I have my rose garden, but I would like to have He only has thirty seven bottles of them. Two rose gardens yeah. if I could have it so I can drink the others and I have a backup. Shout out to. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to bring Dr. Phil with me next time. Yes. Maybe, he can uh, get, maybe he can talk to you I guys. Needed, I needed my rose garden. <laughs> maybe we can figure out what the real issues are inside. Do you, oh, do you know <laughs> you what that be means? there for a while, man. Do you know what a rose garden is? <laughs> I do. Wow. Well, for a rose garden. Yeah. See, you can be yeah. in the club. All the recipes. Yeah. Yes. The only club I like is a turkey club from Rut's Hut. Rut's Hut. <laughs> <laughs> and and yeah, love a nice turkey club. Shout outs today go to uh, Yards Brewing. Yes. Wasn't a fan, but you're still doing good stuff over there. And go you're an KC. old school. Go KC. All right. <laughs> Casey? Casey. Casey Jones? Anthony. Casey, Jones. Casey Anthony? Uh, shout out to Catskill Brewery. Thanks for going up there it's, and I showing like that. us that yeah. clip. Yeah. That was yes. really good. Yes. Was really good beer. Yeah. Shout out to. This is our Roselle Wines pick, I guess. Yes, the Tumbling Dice. Here. Tumbling Dice. Um, That's MGP, right? Ye- I think it's. Well, yeah, I mean. Is it. M- I'm trying to remember where the. Uh, Let me get my glasses on. Uh, MGP facility was uh, the old Seagram's. Where, where is it? Because this, um, this, this is distilled in Indiana, but it's bottled um, in Stanford. Yeah, I don't know. So I don't, that doesn't look. supposed to go smooth. Yeah. Keep going. Proof in wood. Oh. No. Shout out to wood. Yes, Scott Wood. Shout out to Jay's Glasses. Yes. They made an appearance. Shout out to Pizza Terminal. Thanks for bringing this mustard yeah, pie. Yes, you guys are that doing amazing was a little cold. things. Go to Pizza Terminal. You can actually, That's people from, or who aren't from New Jersey, you can go on uh, you, uh, Portnoy, Dave Portnoy. He's been he's there. He's been there. So you can see his review on it. And uh, uh, it's uh, The guy Scott who owns it's a Belleville guy. Yeah. You know, I got a lot of Belleville Good dude. folk in my family, my wife yeah. included. Um they have like a Big Mac pizza there. Uh, you know, like I wasn't a big fan of that one. No, no, but go I, on. I don't think I tried it. Uh, and <clears throat> good stuff. Awesome. Uh, shout out to the Philadelphia Eagles and the Kansas City Chiefs. Congratulations yes. on going to the Super and Bowl. Good luck, everyone who's betting. Um, yeah. yeah. Shout out to, shout uh, out Tom, to Brady's yeah. shout out Tom Brady's new girlfriend. Shout out to Tom Brady's new girlfriend. Hit us up. Yes, yeah, uh, and her two friends. Yeah. <laughs> and shout out to the Chinese. Thanks for sending that balloon. We love a good party. Um, <laughs> balloons always make the party. You can't have a party without balloons. Yes. And yes. Uh, keep your wetter balloons on your side, though. Yes, yes, you yes. Side if they watch the weather better. Watch the weather. Yeah. <laughs> guys. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers to you guys. Cheers to you guys. Wait.